shut up and sit down. Hi, hello. I'm the Cyber Guru. Thank you for watching. So as you can tell, I am not at my normal location. I am out on travel, so I thought I'd make a couple videos here and kind of get caught up with what I've been working on in real life. Uh, so this project is something that kind of merges my woodworking with my 3D printing. Um, so I got a dust collection system for some of for the garage uh, to attach to some of my tools, and uh, not all of the tools have the same size dust port. In fact, um, not a single one of my tools has the same size port anywhere. <laughs> uh, so the goal and the trick here is to adapt my uh, new four inch dust collection system to the variety of tools that I have in my garage. So I, I got some video of me measuring uh, some of the uh, hole diameters uh, of my tools which I'll cut to here in a minute and then I'll cut over to Fusion 360 and then uh, show you uh, the process I use to design the various adapters. It's, it's fairly straightforward, highly re replicatable um, for the different diameters and different sizes that you want to make and so I'll just walk you through it. So let's, uh, let's get to the video. Okay, so what you see in front of you here is a hand drawing that I made of the uh, hose handle here, which is, you know, let me draw a little circle around it here with the magic of technology. This is the hose handle. This is what we'll be plugging into our adapter. Uh, control Z. Um, and then we are going to be plugging it into the table saw in this particular case, um, which is a has a dust port hole that is 2.25 inches which it's almost spot on to be exactly two and a quarter inches so i'm going to cut over to fusion here and show you how i modeled that so let's do that all right so here in fusion i'm going to double click the um the picture and so uh, remember uh, you know and I'll, I'll switch back just for reference uh the hose handle here is roughly uh 4.16 inches uh in the opening uh, and it tapers to essentially it's a straight taper but it, it, it tapers a little bit uh, not too much so uh, 4.16 4.17 ish um, on the inside okay so back into fusion what we have is we have on the top we have the inside which is 4.13 so it'll slide nicely into the 4.16 hole and it tapers out the 4.17 so it should near the bottom bottom out and snug fit uh, have a really nice snug fit into the 4.16 hole now you have to realize uh, 3d printers are not terribly accurate and I'm going to 3d print this um, so we're talking hundreds of an inch here uh, you know 4.17 versus 4.16 so I, I gotta experiment with this I have to actually print it and see if it actually is gonna work in my past experience I found that they've actually worked pretty well um, the 3d printed parts tend to be larger than what you anticipated uh, so in this case the 4.13 is intentionally slightly smaller um, than what maybe I would really want but on the bottom side here same situation um, so I measure from the outside it's four point um, I'm sorry 2.25 so I made it uh, 2.24 hopefully that'll be small enough I should uh, maybe consider uh, maybe we'll just go ahead and do that change the dimension here make it uh, 2.23 give us a little extra trade space there and then it expands uh, the 2.27 uh, I haven't given a lot of thought to this number here I figured um, you know if this is uh, off by about a you know five thousandths I thought maybe this would be five thousandths as kind of what I was thinking um, so 
uh, we'll, we'll play with it. If it doesn't fit very well, we, we can futz with it. Uh, one thing I want to note here, by the way, is I put this dimension in here, which is it's a it, it's not a constraint because it doesn't actually constrain anything because the document is fully constrained. Um, so, but it does show you what this angle is, and it's important to know what that angle is when you're 3D printing um, because if it's greater than 45 degrees, uh, I guess less than 45 degrees in this case. Um, uh, sharper, uh, you won't be able to print reliably because the angle will be uh, difficult to print with a 3D printer. In this case, it's greater than 45 by a fair margin at 52, almost 53 uh, degrees. So we should be able to print this vertically as a column without too much of a problem. But again, remains to be seen. All right, so we'll stop the sketch uh, very simply. Uh, uh, fast forward here. Uh, actually, we already did it. And I'll turn on the actual design, turn off the sketch. And this is what it looks like. All I did here uh, is I did a sweep. Um, let me edit this. I will show you. I selected the profile, which you just saw. The axis, I just did a center vertical axis, and I told it to sweep 360 degrees. Um, oh, I'm sorry, not a sweep. It is a revolve. Um, I always call it a sweep. It is not a sweep. It is a revolve. So it revolves around the center axis. And you can see here, it just created the part. Uh, it looks like, you know, like any traditional PVC adapter you might buy from the big box store and whatnot. Um, I will probably add some fillets and maybe some chamfers on the on the edge here just to clean it up a little bit and, and make it a little bit more pleasant to use. Uh, but you can use it straight out of the box, and, and, you know, once you print it as far as I'm concerned. Um, so it, it's very simple, very straightforward. Okay, so that was the video. I hope you found that useful. Um, so it, it's very straightforward. You, you measure the diameters, inside and outside diameters of what you're trying to uh, adjust to and you create a slight taper so that it slides in nicely and gets a nice snug fit. Uh, and then you print it. Uh, now, in interest of full disclosure, I've not printed these parts yet, but I will real soon. Uh, again, I'm traveling, so I don't have the access to my printer, but um, it's very straightforward. So uh, when I print it, I might post a, an update or likely I'll probably tweet about it. So if you're not following me on Twitter, just go ahead and do that. It's, you know, Cyber Reef Guru uh, on the Twitters, and I, I'd appreciate it. Uh, so if you like this video, thumbs up. Uh, as always, if you don't like the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up anyway. Uh, please leave your comments and questions down below, and don't forget to subscribe. It's very important these days. Ring the bell if you want to be notified, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Thanks, everyone.